Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of XX by Ryan Hughes. I hope you enjoy! <laughs> um, XX is a sci-fi graphic novel. It's 996 pages long. It's massive. Look at the size of it. You could use it as a weapon. <laughs> um, it follows a signal that gets sent to Earth, uh, a weird alien signal, and the story split into two parts. So you have a character called Jack Fenwick, who's an AI expert, and he and his colleagues believe that they can decipher the alien signal and figure out what it is, and what it's trying to say. And on the flip side, you also have a character called Dana, who's currently on the moon. She's doing some work for NASA, I think it is, or the book equivalent of NASA. Um, and the, about halfway through the book, the two storylines start to intermingle and the characters all get involved, which is really cool. But yeah, it, it, it was really good. It was such a good book. It was hard to read in some places. Some of it was a little bit too sci-fi, too spacey and too sciencey, and I had to Google what stuff meant. But that didn't affect my enjoyment of the story. It actually made me want to learn more about space. I have quite a few books um, from Professor Brian Cox about space and stars, which I used to love. So I think this book has made me want to get back into learning more about space, which is nice. The book also had a short story within. So this is what I've tabbed here. The short story, I think, was probably the hardest bit of the book to read. I'll see if I can show you it. It was, the layout was quite hard, so it was really small writing and it was done as if it was in a newspaper article. And the font was small, it was quite wordy. Um, so the short story was probably the hardest bit, but I persevered, I tabbed it so I knew when it was coming up, when I could prepare for it. Um, overall, I'm glad I got through it, I'm glad I read it. I'm really proud that I read it. I started it in November last year, but because of December and Christmas and wanting to read Christmas books, I put it to one side and I said, there's no way I'm finishing it in 2021. I'll read it again in January. And I think I got through it within a week, five days, once I sat down and focused solely on it. So yeah, that's really cool. I'm very proud. There was a lot about this book that was really cool. So we had like, these weird graphic pages with pictures and drawings um there was also um like newspaper articles wikipedia pages tweets screenshots of tweets um i think having all those different weird things in here made it really fun to read and sometimes you could go through five ten pages that were fun little drawings that you tried to decipher and you just flew past them and it, it, it was like a reward after reading 20 really intense science pages to then have some pages with pictures on. I was like, yes, I can do these. <laughs> and so that made it really nice. The characters in this book, all of the characters, I really enjoyed. There was not a single character I didn't like. I think my favorite character was Dana, the character on the moon. She was so no nonsense and she she just knew what she was doing she had a plan she wouldn't let anyone get in her way and i really enjoyed the way she was written as a character um the end of this book might have been my favorite bit not because it was over but just because the ending was so unexpected i obviously won't give away spoilers for what happened but i didn't expect it to be quite so sad i didn't expect to have my heart literally ripped out my chest and crushed into a million pieces I wasn't prepared for that when I opened this book and <laughs> when I first started reading it I thought this will tick a box it ticks the XX less well the X letter in my A to Z reading challenge and I didn't really expect it to do much more than that if I'm going to be honest but the ending alone made me want to go back and read the whole thing again because it was so powerful and yeah it it left me sat in my feelings for a little bit <laughs> Overall, I would recommend this book if you like sci-fi. I would recommend this book if you like space, but maybe haven't read much sci-fi. It was a really good book. It's a really intense book. I think you either have to sit and commit a week of your time to it to read nothing but it, or you're gonna have to accept that it'll take you months to get through and just do a bit at a time, chapter at a time, like what I started doing last year. Um, 
I'm so proud I've read it. It was so good. And it looks cool on my shelf. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you've read the book and enjoyed it, let me know. If you read the book and didn't enjoy it, let me know. Um, if you're thinking about reading it, let me know. Just let me know your thoughts and feelings about this one. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Bye.